All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you guys what I do to edit the background. So I did add the uh, little back um, dots to the text. I'm not going to disclose how to do that because it's an unwritten rule um, in the editing community not to expose that. Anyways, so we have Sonics Presents, uh, but I like to add a little bit of something to the background um, like the scene of the clip. So first thing I add is uh, a little bit of Gaussian blur. Uh, some people don't like it. I like it. I add like, like point, oh no, it's different in Vegas. So that's why I'm bugging. Uh, yeah, so like around six or eight, between six to eight. If you go over that, it's just gonna be too much. Um, so you add some Gaussian blur. Uh, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's what I say, Gaussian Blur. Uh, then you add some Time Warp RGB, S underscore Time Warp RGB, excuse me. Make sure you do have the Sapphire plugins uh, installed for your After Effects. So I'm going to add that, and it just adds, like, I typically keep it at 1 and negative 1. Um, all it does is it adds... If you can see, like, look around here, it's off right now, on right there. It adds, like, that 3D element, um, not 3D element, 3D aspect, uh, as if you're watching, like, a 3D movie or something like that to the actual scene. And then I like to add a uh, fisheye warp, uh, so S underscore fisheye. Uh, here, I don't really need to do it, but typically for the amount, I do negative 0.1. Like something very minor like for this scene I don't really need to do it because it's already like super warped so I'm just gonna turn that off and uh, leave it as is but as you can see that text looks very nice uh, when it's prominent up front and center in the scene um, and then it goes through probably gonna cut it at when it gets like here in Vegas but excuse me yes yeah, so that's uh all you'd need to do for the, um, you know, the scene, uh, people do add the optical flares or optical whatever it is, like the dirty screen to the outside. I do that in Vegas uh, with some really, really bad overlays that I have. I'm probably not going to do it to this one just because, like, it's super overused. Like, I've already used it way too much, but... Um, so yeah, this is definitely going to be the shortest part of the tutorial showing you guys what to do for the background, but figured I'd make like a quick little uh, video of how to do it. Uh, make the background have that little 3D element, a little bit of blur, and then uh, f uh, warp fisheye uh, if you want to. Uh, this is the settings that I do. I literally don't touch anything but the amount, like between 0.1 and 0.2, uh, depending on the scene. Uh, but all right, that is all for this part, and I will see you guys in the next part. Like, comment, subscribe. Any support's appreciated, and um, definitely subscribe if you want to see that next part where I bring everything together in uh, Sony Vegas. I'll see you guys in the next one.